What's up, Terrians? My name is Cargo, and welcome back to another episode of Calamity 1.4 Melee. Today, we're going to be taking on three different boss fights, and I'm so excited. First boss fight is going to be Leviathan, so we're going to have to go to the ocean. Our ocean is completely covered in crimson, which is kind of a bummer because we're going to have to deal with all those enemies, but not the worst thing ever. Uh, we already have an arena set up for that, so we just need to go over there and get that all situated. And then also we're going to be taking on Ashram Dias. Is that, is that is that the right one? There's two of them. Ashram Aris. And then Dias is later, right? Yeah, after Duke Fishron. Okay, okay. And then we're going to be taking on Golem and hopefully getting into the next stages of the game. We have uh, all of our new weapons. We have the Yarm's Ultisword, the Ark of the Ancients, and uh, we're ready to go. Uh, one thing I actually wanted to do before I forget is I actually wanted to upgrade our Alchemist Charm tier. We haven't done this uh, in the series just yet. We have the third one. Oh wait, I don't know what I'm saying. That's very much later. Is it the, oh, the Charm of Luck. I think that's what it was. Let's put that there. Charm of Absolute Luck. While this is inventory, you have a better chance of getting better reforges. And it's Shroomite, yes. And we have our above ground biome already situated. What is that thing? Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a robot, okay. But I created a little um, house up there for him. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the Charm of Luck in there. And then we're going to make the absolute charm of luck. Well, I don't actually have Shroomite just yet. So let me make 10 of these. I think it's only 10. Boom. And then we can make the charm of absolute luck. The dream. And now we're good. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, give our Ark of the Ancients a quick reforge. We already have Godly on the other one. Four, five, six. Okay, Godly. So I was thinking that the absolute luck would like reduce it by one but it doesn't work out, unfortunately. Uh, we could also, if we really need to, uh, do a bunch of upgrades in our reforges of our current accessories, but not too worried about that. We also got this sick Chlorophyte die, and on Senex's set, I feel like a Power Ranger. This is so sick. I don't know why, like I never really use dyes all that much, but it looks so good. It like makes me wanna get more dye. All right. Um, we should actually probably grab a, um, Zerg potion because we need to kill the, I can't even think what her name is, but there's like, you have to kill an NPC or like a spawn in the ocean that spawns the Leviathan, if that makes sense. I can't remember what she's called, but she's like a siren. Is it, she, is she just called the siren? I don't actually know. We should probably grab one of those as well. And then I know I had a Zerg potion in here. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Got it. And we're going to go ahead and grab you, go to the ocean. We have to put it in our inventory so that we can right click it and spawn on the right side of the ocean. We're going to grab that, do one of those. And now we should be able to see a ton of enemies spawning in. Hopefully, maybe, maybe not. There they are. I'm excited for this episode because last episode was a bunch of prep, a bunch of learning. Honestly, I spent like so long trying to figure out the... Uh, um, Jadon's like, whatever, set up like the base computer and figuring out how to do encryptions, figuring out what I even need to do. I wonder, does, does the siren actually spawn in the crimson? Oh, actually, oh yeah, okay, here she is. I'm, I'm assuming that's what this little arrow is for. Maybe not. Oh, it's a perforator cyst. Oh, that's not what we want. <laughs> Dang it, I was hoping that was that little, uh, our boss icon was for... The siren. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep farming this. I'll let you guys know when I. Oh, I guess I'm killing the perper. Yeah, I'll let you know when I uh, find the siren. Oh, here's the siren. Oh, and we already killed her. Anahita, that's right. What's up? Wow, we are kind of cranking. There we go. Ow, you hurt. Wow, you hurt very much badly. And I forgot we need a buff up. Uh, I didn't uh, get the. Uh, the parry like I wanted. I don't know why. Wow, we took a ton of damage. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot. We have so many greater health potions, and I just keep forgetting to use them. I'm a fool. All right, please. I just want to... Oh, I parried that. What? Okay, the parry does so much damage, but you have to get so close to it. Oh, no. Oh, I'm at 1 HP. I'm actually going to die of this. I think this is like the first boss we're going to die to in so long or i just be careful and let's also get rid of my zerg potion there we go ow 
Ow. I saw that. Please don't kill me. I'm so sorry. I'm really trying to focus. I really don't want to lose this fight. Okay, we're okay. Everything's fine. We got a nice dodge. Oh, she's dodging. She's diving. She's dipping. She hurts. We dodged it amazingly somehow. Oh, those notes last forever. Can we just like not have that? That'd be fantastic. And she's going to dive again. And we're going to dive there. And we're going to dive like that. Kind of feels like Duke Fish on if I'm going to be completely honest. All right, we got a health potion off. All right, we're at half HP. Anahita's almost at half HP herself. We're finally doing a little bit better. Okay, we're getting in the groove. It took a second. Remember, this isn't the actual boss fight. Leviathan, this is like the first of three phases. <laughs> Leviathan's actually a big boss. I don't actually remember when that all happens. All right, let's see how this does. Ow. Dang it, we finally got hit. This doesn't, I mean, it hits hard when it hits, but like, it doesn't hit very much. Are you picking up, where are you going? Where did she go? She's to the right of me? I don't, oh, is she spawning in Leviathan? What just happened? Hey, Leviathan. Oh, meatballs. Oh my goodness. And whatever those fish things are. Oh, okay, we got a good dodge out of that. That was kind of crazy. What are you guys doing there? Oh my gosh. Jeez, this is terrifying. This boss fight is huge. And if, if we weren't so low on HP, I think I wouldn't be freaking out as much. But it hurts. Oh, meatball almost hit me. There we go. That's some big damage right there. 70% HP already. Ow. Why did they start lunging like that? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we got another heal off. I guess the good thing about, like, the, uh... Uh, what's it called? Like, the lesser healing potions or whatever. They only have, like, a 45-second potion sickness cooldown. Okay, you need to die. Oh, Leviathan, please don't. 58% health on Leviathan. What's scary is I think we get under 40% on Leviathan and uh, Anahita comes back and we have to fight both of them at the same time. There we go. Get nice dead. I really wish we hit more of Leviathan during that adrenaline, but that's okay. All right, I think we're doing pretty good. Right. Oh, yep, yeah, there's Anahita. What's up, girl? Do we have to re-kill? Is it Leviathan that we have to kill or now Anahita? Like, do we have to focus on one of them? Anahita's like in during that invincible phase right now. Do we have to kill both of them? Oh, we were so close to uh, adrenaline there. Okay, I think we just have to kill both. Okay, we got a good dodge on that. Oh, nope. Ow, why you hurt so bad? Get away from me, you demons. And I'm really sorry about this. I'm not talking very uh, much. Speaking of like, uh, as we're fighting an ocean boss, I actually think this is a fitting story. So uh, I have an, a neighbor, well, I have a lot of neighbors. Um, but uh, my neighbor, he has he's a 10 year old kid. Obviously he has like a family with that. But um, he has, like, we kind of have, like, this, like, interesting relationship. Like, I uh, I do a lot of, like, yard work in my front yard, like, during the... Oh, wow, we were just not falling down. Uh, I do a lot of yard work on, like, the weekends, and, like, he, like, rides his bike outside. And so, like, he'll, like, come over and, like, chat with me. And, like, he'll talk about, like, Pokemon cards. He's, like, really into, like, collecting Pokemon cards right now. Which, uh, who was it when they were a kid? Cause, uh, I don't know any of the newer gen Pokemon. Like, I'm really bad at that. But uh, he loves talking about it, and so like I'll chat with him while I'm doing chores. I mean, it's better than like just I guess listening to my music. Who doesn't want to talk about Pokemon while doing chores? Okay, Leviathan is defeated. Anahita needs to die now. Anahita is probably very aggro. Okay, we've been actually I can't believe we actually did this fight. We were at like one HP so long. Boom, we did it. Okay. But, uh, keep talking about, uh, my story since I didn't actually get to finish it. And I, that second phase of the boss fight actually was finished very quickly. 
Um, he asked me to watch his fish. And so they went on vacation. And uh, the he has like 13 fish that he's caught. And they're in like in a 10 gallon tank. And it's the coolest thing ever. Uh, and so they're sitting in my kitchen right now. I, I thought like I'd go over to like his place and like just feed the fish there. But he like came in with a wagon with his 10 gallon tank of fish and <laughs> just gave it to me. I was like, okay, sweet. All right, we beat Leviathan. We did it. Uh, we have the Leviathan Ambergris, 20 defense. You can leave behind poison and seawater as you move. 30% increased movement speed, 10% increased damage, uh, and plus 10 defense while submerged in liquid. If you're damaged while submerged in liquid, you gain damaging aura for a short time. Being outside of liquid increases damage by 5% and increases damage reduction by 5%. So I don't get the... Wait, that's like a pretty good... Did they change that? And then plus 20 defense? Oh my gosh. We also got the community on the first try. I remember trying to farm for this for hours as a rogue and never getting it. So like this, this is insane. Let me just read all of the buffs that this gives. I don't remember what it does. So the heart of most of the Terraria community, ah, the community starts off with weak buffs to all your stats. The stats become more powerful as you progress, reduces the uh, DOT effect, so damage over time of harmful defense inflicted on you. Thank you to all my supporters who made this mod a reality. That's so sweet. Max health is increased by 6.1%. Melee speed is increased by 3%. Life regen is increased by 2. Uh, critical strike chance increased by 3%. Damage increased by 6.1. Damage reduction increased by 3. Uh, 3%. Defense increased by 6. Minion knockback increased by 12. Doesn't really matter for us. We're not a summoner. Movement speed is increased. Flight time is increased. This is an incredible accessory. Like, amazing accessory. Do we do that instead of our... I think so. Instead, of... Well, the frozen shield was honestly the reason why we lived right there. I'm going to be completely honest. I think I'm going to rock the community and the frozen... Because, I mean, it's just so good. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we actually got that. That was incredible. And then we also got, like, this. Maybe we rock this instead of the frozen shield, because it's an, another 7 defense. And we get a uh, 5% damage increase and a damage reduction increase. Oh my gosh, we just like, I feel like we just got so much more powerful. I don't even know what to do with this. I'm so excited. Oh, and we also got the the Savage Mana's Claws. <laughs> I never use these weapons because it's like, they don't really do a whole lot. I mean, they do a ton, but I never get like the full use out of them, I feel like. Okay, well, our uh, boss log doesn't say that we've killed Leviathan, but you guys saw it here first, and we definitely did. Moving on, we need to kill Astrum Aris, and we need to create a Astral Chunk, which I believe we can already make because I already did some farming of our Stardust, which so many of you let me know that I was a dingus, and I just didn't kill any enemies in the Astral Biome yet, and they, they just dropped from regular enemies, so look at that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and buy some more summon, or some more health potions and whatnot. Not health potions. <gasps> That does remind me, I need to switch out my health potions. I keep forgetting to do that. Let me do that real quick. Health potions. Yeah, we have 146 greater healing potions. I don't think we're gonna be running out anytime soon. Uh, let's go to you, let's check out you. We're gonna get one of those and one of these. And I think we're good. Uh, we already have our Cadence, Triumph, Yarms, yep. Okay, uh, uh, oh wait, we need one of our, no, we actually have the combination still, all right. Our astral biome is just around here, around the corner, not too far. I love how much space I cleared out for this. I do want to clear out like some of these uh, like sky islands for when we do like Moon Lord or um, there's so many like late game bosses that just you just need so much of the map for. But um, I think we've got set up pr uh, pretty good progress already for that. What's nice about like uh, Fargo's soul mod or not soul mod, is it mutant mod? I don't know, it's one of them where you can like, you can get stuff like that and it already, um, wait, a Titan Heart? No, no, no. Oh, wait, I don't use the Titan Heart. I just use this. Okay, Ashramars. But like, uh, like the City Buster or whatever has like, you can just clear out massive sections of map. Wow, I forgot how much this boss moves around. I do not have an arena set up for this. I just have like 100 platforms. I forgot how big this thing was. It is so loud. Oh, and my audio just got up. 
How we doing? Ow, you hurt so bad. I don't feel like we're doing a whole lot of damage, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Ow. I can't wait till we can make the normality relocator because uh that'll give us allow us to uh oh my goodness. You hit so hard. That's that okay, buddy. Maybe I use one of these to build some distance. I need to really use some life regen. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's it doing? Oh, it's homing in. Okay, we gotta dodge. It's probably gonna jump around. Yeah, okay, we're good. We have health potion in 20 seconds. We are not doing okay. Everything hurts so badly. We got an adrenaline. I guess we'll use both of these. We aren't even hitting this thing at this point. We really aren't. And I'm dead. Wow! 128 damage per hit? I guess that's my fault. I mean, it has to be, right? Well, let's give this another try. We're gonna get a cadence potion. We're gonna do uh, one of those. Let's see. I didn't consume that. What, where's the, is it triumph? Enemy contact damage is reduced, yes. I needed to sneeze so bad. I was trying to hold that back and I just couldn't. Okay, I think we're good now, right? I think so. Um, let's, I already used the cadence potion. Let's go ahead and heal up. We have 675 HP, 115 defense, and we haven't even taken our buffs yet. Let's go ahead and, I mean, I guess let's just take our buffs. Our buffs are gonna last a lot longer than uh, anything that we've got, so. 141 defense? That is just crazy amount of defense. I don't remember how much defense is late game armor for like vanilla, but I feel like 141 is a lot. I may be mistaken, I don't know. But like I said before, if we really need more defense, um, we can reforge our, uh, our current accessories and get a lot more for it. Um, let's go ahead and use our astral chunk. Let's kill these guys. All right. This, we're gonna do better at this. I think this is the, the first boss. Oh my gosh, I thought it would like slam down by now. Ooh. Ow. Uh, I probably didn't need to do a heal right there, to be honest. But it's always better to use a heal faster because then like when you really need it, you like get more heals off rather than just waiting. Holy moly. I wonder how much damage a Fallen Star will do to these types of bosses. Probably like 8 percentage. No! We were so close to getting adrenaline. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad at this. I'm so sorry, team. I know you, this is probably so boring to watch. Okay, I've decided that um, I'm actually going to do the temple first, or do the golem first. And the reason I want to do that is because uh, I want to. I think there's going to be a lot of upgrades that are going to make that fight easier. And so if I can do another boss that makes it easier, like, why wouldn't I do that? You know what I mean? I feel like that just makes the most sense. We can actually buy one of these. I've already cleared out all of the, uh, um, all the traps and whatnot in this place. So we shouldn't need to worry about that. I'm just going to do a quick uh, platform just right in the middle here. Ooh, I'm making a lot of mistakes <laughs> with these platforms. There we go. Let's see that. Good. Okay. So yeah, I think this golem fight, I don't remember it to be completely honest, but I think it's going to be pretty quick because just vanilla bosses are just so much easier in Calamity or in modded in general. Usually they don't upscale them that much and like the, the actual modded bosses are a lot more difficult. From what I understand, uh, we should have a lizard power cell in here, which we do. I'm going to go ahead and buff up. We've got all of our buffs ready. I'm going to wait for some life regen to go off and we should be good there. Let's grab our power cell. We're good here. And all right, we are now going to be killing the golem. So he is invincible. Uh, oh, it's so interesting. Like my, I wonder why the, uh, Auto homing is going to one particular hand versus the other. But now he is ready to die. Hands, both hands are dead. 
We haven't even gotten hit yet. This is a gorgeous thing. I love vanilla boss fights. <laughs> and let's do all the damages. Oh, we have the head now. The head is already at 50% HP. And we got our first bit of damage. I don't know who to focus on, if we need to be focusing the head or not. Wow, this boss fight got hectic very fast. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a healing potion and hopefully kill this thing. I don't really know. The head is moving so much. Like I thought like me like stopping moving would like make it move less, but no, it doesn't seem to be that's the case. So maybe we use the uh, fractured art. Ow, okay, all right. Thought this would be a lot easier considering the fact of how quickly we got the health down. I'm so nervous. I just want to kill boss fights. Is that okay? Is that all right? Calamity. Oh, we got a lot of damage there. Oh, I missed my parry. Oh, we got some good dodges. Oh my gosh, that was actually incredibly lucky. All right, the head is dead. Nice, we did it. This guy just be jumping, he'd be moving. I'm gonna use a rage. We're good there. We're about to get adrenaline. We lost our adrenaline because we're fools. I'm gonna pop a healing potion. Okay, I think we got this in the bag. I, do, I really do. And we're gonna, yeah, okay. This this is doing way more damage than the fracture arc for at least the body part. The homing was a little slow for my liking. And we got the pick saw. Is it a guaranteed drop in, in Calamity? Do they do that for you? I feel like they should. We got two golden fists though. <laughs> and uh, a bunch of beetle husks. I feel like I wanna do that again real quick. Actually, no, we won't do that. What did we get? How did you get Essence of Sunlight? Why did we get Essence of Sunlight? Okay, all right. But hey, Golem is defeated. We have the Pixel. It means we can get the Astral stuff, which is awesome. I'm very excited about that. Gonna go ahead and back, and let's drop all this stuff off real quick. Hey, this is Editing Cargo. Uh, so these are actually gonna be two different videos that I clipped together, and I just thought it worked be better as a mega episode. So you're gonna hear me do my intro again, but just know it's all one episode. I didn't know that when I was video filming it, so sorry about that. Today, we're gonna be making a ton of upgrades along with a few new weapons, and I'm excited to try those out. Uh, first thing we need to do is actually get our, uh, our accessories that we need for the Abyss so that we can go down and get Scoria ore and bars and build all the things that we need there. We also, uh, we did a little bit more of, um, dungeon clearing so that we could get all of our ectoplasm that we need to make all the cores that we need so that we can continue to make our stuff. I can't find my, I guess I just need to look it up. Diving helmet or do I have it on me already? Oh no, here it is. Okay. We have the Arctic diving gear. Then I think, is there anything else we have? Ocean enemies provides water breathing. Doesn't this provide water, water breathing? Apparently grants ability and greatly extends water breathing. Yeah, so we're fine there. We'll probably use that instead of there. I don't think there's anything else that we need for deep sea diving. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But we're going to get our uh, sulfuric skin potion. And also, I think there's another thing that Calamity provides. So there's you. Oh, we also have more stuff. Titan scale gives us more damage reduction. Nice. Love that. Shattering potion. Oh, we don't need the shattering potion, but cool. Nice to see that our, our, our potions are filling up. Is there anything? I guess not. Oh, sunshine potion would be helpful. Okay, to the abyss we go. I'm so excited. This is like some of my favorite parts of uh, Calamity. Wow, we are diving quickly. This is awesome. And then using a, uh, what's it called? Can't think of it, run of uh, Discord to like increase. We also spent a little bit- Oh! Oh! What the- Why? Why did you spawn in here? For what reason? What? I'm so confused. Was that like automatically triggered? Can I not go into the abyss right now? Do I have to kill something? Oh! Okay. Okay. Um, there is that one accessory that we got that allows us to be less identifiable in the abyss. 
Oh my gosh. That terrified me. I, I'm truly scared. Okay, where did that go? I don't even know what that is called. Do I need to look something up? To like... I don't even know. I'm, I, I'm so scared. Okay, I realized my mistake. So, you can't use the Rod of Discord in the Abyss. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was truly terrifying. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. So, if you have the Chaos State on, it, like, just instantly kills you. I looked up, like, when you're supposed to be able to fight that boss. It's like the adult Eidolon Worm or whatever. And you're not supposed to beat it until Supreme Calamitous is killed. Which is nuts, because that's the last boss in the game. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently, you can only beat this boss after Supreme Calamitous. Does Supreme, does Supreme Calamitous fear this boss? Oh my gosh, that was so scary. I cannot believe we did that. Oh, I don't have... Do I, oh, thank goodness, I do have this. Alright, are you Scoria? You are Scoria, yay. Okay. Man, I'm like... That my movement speed is crazy in the abyss. The diving helmet is awesome. Okay, we're getting lots of scoria or or this is very beneficial. The devil fish needs to die. Can I oh my gosh, this is so hard to navigate when I'm like just constantly like jumping at the speed of light. Oh, we also need depth cells. That's good. Okay, so we can get that. Oh, and luminil. Alright. Man, this I mean, maybe we need to spend some time in here. Let's uh, break the Abyssal Gravel. Do we need the Gravel for anything? Oh, that was... That was scary. I'm still, like, not doing okay with that. Okay, whatever that sound was hurt my ears. The giant squid. You're gonna die. Luminil's being dropped. I don't remember what we need from Luminil. Flash uh, Depth Cells, but I know we do need them. Alright, you're gonna get hit there. I know there was a... Ooh, I am not doing well on the, uh, what's it called? The breathing department. I am running out of breath. I don't necessarily want to die down here. How much? We have, oh, so much scoria. Whoa, okay. All right, for the luminil, we can make um, the abyssal diving suit, but that is actually not. We need the abyssal diving gear. Depth's charm. I don't know where that, I don't know where you get that. Uh, we can also make the absorber, which uh, I think we can actually make. Oh, we need tenebris and mollusk husk. I don't remember. I don't. I don't know where that is. Okay, so maybe we make the absorber. Can we make it at this point? I don't know. Oh, so many good weapons. Luminil, you're so good. Where is it? Tenebris tide. We need the influx weaver, which we could totally get now. We need tons of luminal though. Um. Typhon's Greed. I don't know how good these are. Whoa, Rem's Revenge. Okay, that's after Moonlord. Phantoplasm. I'm pretty sure that's post-Moonlord still. So a lot of these, like, maybe we should just not be even looking at. These are so cool, though. Abyss Blade. Death Crusher. Oh, okay, so we can make that. Fires, Short Range, Tridents, Hitting Enemies to Inflict Crush Death. Ooh, okay. Okay. Um, but what we got, or we went down there for is for Scoria. So let's go ahead and make our Scoria bars. Let's deposit all of that. And we can make Scoria. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. All right, we're going to grab one bar because I want to leave the rest of it in there. So we want to make the fire gauntlet, which we need to put in our thing. We want to make... Not tectonic trunker. Oh, it's a axe. Okay. Size it hand pick. Oh, and it's a hammer. 210% axe pickaxe power. Yeah, why wouldn't we make that? For sure. We need to make life alloy. That's super important for us. And then we also want to make the hydrothermic armor. Now, uh, apparently the wiki was saying that hydro or that beetle armor is technically better. But I don't think that's the case. I just, I don't know. 
We can also make this. We need a liqueur calamity. I think we have all this stuff. Maybe not the molten skull rose. Oh, and then fallen paladin's hammer. Yes, we want to make this so badly. I think we have all that stuff. Okay, so let's make some cores. Oh, well, before let's do this. Throw that in there. And we're in the wrong one of those. Let's put that in there. So we are going to make the molten glove. Why can't we make the molten glove? Is it, is it called fire gauntlet or something? Ah, fire gauntlet. Boom. And it's already warding the dream. Oh man, plus seven defense. It's so good. I just love that. I love that accessory so much. Now we can make... Uh, oh, Ark of the Cosmos. Whoa. Ark of the Elements. Dang. Oh, we can't make that yet. I was about to say, can we make that? No, that's post Moon Lord. Um, I can't remember what else we were going to make. Oh, we need to make cores. That's right. So we need a bunch of chaos cores. We have a hundred of these. We'll just use... Do 63 of each. Oh, we can't make it 63 of that. Okay. And then we make a bunch of cores of Calamity. Oh, no! We need Ashes of Calamity. So we need to kill Calamitous again. Dang it. I didn't realize that cores of Calamity used Ashes of Calamity. Well, that makes sense, but lame. Lame sauce. Okay. Well, I guess I need to go kill that right now. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so we did that. Actually, I, I created the Soul Harvester. This weapon is so cool. I I love it so much. It, so basically what it does is it like creates these stationary scythes and they last a while. And so like anything that charges through them just destroys them. It's such a good weapon. And uh, it also spreads the plague when enemies explode, and enemies explode on low health. So, honestly, it's a pretty sweet weapon. Going to be using that a ton. But now we have more Ashes of Calamity, so we can make other things. And what else can we make? We can make the hammer, right? Why can't we make the, uh, I can't, is it Paladin Hammer or something like that? Fallen Paladin Hammer? Where are you? I believe you in you. There it is. I don't know why we couldn't see that. Okay, so we have Cores of Chaos. We have the Scoria Bar. We're good there. And this weapon is also incredibly sick. I remember this for Rogue. Did they take out the Rogue, um, like, accessory for it or weapon? Because I thought, like, it would show both, but I guess not. So that's that's pretty sweet. Very happy with this weapon. Going to be using this one a lot as well. Now we need to make Scoria Armor, which actually I don't think we have Hellstone Bars. I think we are out. Hellstone. I can't even make Hellstone. Let me see. Do we have any Hellstone? No, we don't. So, uh, oh, wait. We have eight Hellstone. And we can't make any Hellstone. Okay. So, yeah, I need to head into the Underworld and make that real quick. Okay, we can now make more Hellstone bars, which is awesome. Craft all those. Now, we can make Scoria. Nope. Hydrothermic. Boom. So we want to make the hydrothermic helm. Oh, wait, I'm already on it. Yeah. Okay. This is the melee. Perfect. Then we're also going to make the armor. And then you're the legs, right? The sub -ligger. Yes, the legs. Perfect. All right. So just to compare, uh, let's actually... Do I want to remove all my buffs? You're so expensive. No, we're, they're not going to run out anytime soon. So we have 146 armor. The set bonus is 5% increased melee damage. Enemies are more likely to target you. Reflect projectiles back. Rejected Reflected projectiles do 50% less damage. This is a 90 second cooldown. Got it. Now we have hydrothermic. We now have 158, so it's increased by 12. And we have a set bonus of 5% increased melee damage. Enemies are more likely to target you. Infernal effect when below 50%. So I'm assuming that's the infernal potion, which is sweet. Melee attacks and projectiles cause chaos flames to erupt on enemies hit. You emit a blazing explosion when you are hit, which is dope. And then our, I believe our helmets do a lot different. So 10% increased melee damage and 15% increased melee speed. Our helmet has 12% damage increase, 10% uh, damage critical strike increase, 18% increased melee speed, melee attacks and melee projectiles inflict on fire. 
and then it also grants you immunity to fire damage and uh, lava. So, not only do we get the set bonus of Chaos Flames on melee attacks and projectiles, but we also get uh, on fire, which we would have gotten with our fire gauntlet anyway, but still, oh wait, it's Hellfire. So we have a bunch of different DOTs happening all at once. So I like that a lot. We also can make uh, beetle armor and I'm gonna make it just so I can test it because I don't understand why we would want it. I mean, it's tie defense for sure. But, oh, I need to make turtle armor, sorry. Turtle, I think I have enough. Oh, I probably don't actually have enough for a fight. Let's try. Nope, okay. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and head to the jungle, get more chlorophyte real quick. And then also like we can look at getting some more plate canisters. I, I, think, I don't think there's actually anything else that we need from the canisters for right now because the soul harvester was, was made with that. But um, we do need to make life alloys for other things. And I, anything, no, cryonic ore, is it perennial ore? As well as a, uh, oh, I don't even know. I don't know what I need. I'm useless. Ooh, an extra strange plant. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got a uh, shadow flame Hades die, which makes it, makes Senex's already purple set even more purpley, which I think she would approve of. Okay, now we got some life root, and I'm gonna go over here. Everything's happening. We don't need that much chlorophyte, I don't think. So, not super worried about getting a ton. We already have 83. I feel like that's already enough. But, no. I would also hate to come have to come back here because I didn't grab enough the first time, you know? Okay, so we made it the beetle armor when we did the beetle shell variant, which has more defense. I like that one a lot better because I always already do enough damage. So we have 153 defense right now, and with the beetle armor, we have 159. Set bonus uh, is going to be beetles protect you from damage. Yeah, hydrothermic is better. <laughs> I mean, I like the beetle armor. If we like are dying pretty heavily and we need more defense, then we could definitely do that. But 153 and then all the set bonus with the increased damage and whatnot. I mean, it's just too good to not use. Am I right? Um, so I say we go ahead and take on Ashram Dias again. We could, if we struggle some more, we should probably make this a little bit better of an arena versus just like 100 platforms. But who needs that? We're just gonna go in and do our best. That's all we can ask for. So let's see, we already have bounding. We need another Yarums, another one of these. Uh, we're gonna take a Titan scale. I don't even actually know all of what it does, but I'm gonna use it anyway. I, I think Fab Souls Vodka is bad, right? Boosts all damage by eight, but lowers defense by 10%. Like it's, I, I don't know. I don't think the benefit outweighs the, the cons of it. Um, okay. I think that's good and then uh, maybe grab some vanilla ones i don't know if i like the the tank combination i just don't know if it does a whole lot you know oh wait we already had a rage portion and then i think we're good let's go ahead and grab our astral chunk and head on our way to the astral biome okay we're ready to go and we're gonna murder this guy see how our fallen paladin's hammer does. Uh, I like it. I like it. But I think our soul harvester might be better. Oh, our audio keeps cutting out for this fight. Man, you just hurt so bad. Like you just you you don't know how to chill. I think this I think this is gonna be the weapon to use. In my honest opinion. Let's go ahead and pop 80 damage of that. Whoa, why? Oh my gosh, that was so close. Gotta kill one of those. Whoa, okay. Are you gonna jump? Yes, you are. We almost have an adrenaline up. We have adrenaline now. I feel like we are doing a lot better. A lot, lot better. We're at 66%. I feel like we got down to 58% health last time. Oh, wow. Wow, you hit hard. What was that? Oh my gosh, why? We were doing so well, and now we're not. 
We were doing so good. <laughs> oh, we had to really pay attention to those homing devices. What? Dude, oh, come on. This boss fight is tricking me, I swear. It is not... Uh, this is like post-Moon Lord, I feel like. Ow! Why you hit so hard? Why you jump so fast? Why don't you die? Oh my gosh! Alright, we're good there. You need to die. Oh, okay, we got a good dodge. 36 seconds until we have another heal. There ain't no way we're pulling this off. Okay, we're good here. We almost have another... Oh, we got a good dodge, please. Okay, we're still doing all right. Oh my gosh, I'm so stressed. All right, five seconds on a heal. We're actually uh, above 50% HP, which is awesome. I'm gonna pop another healing potion. Ooh, we got lucky there with the dodge. Another dodge, we got super lucky. 26% Ashamaris. I don't remember this boss fight being this difficult. Or maybe, I, maybe I'm maybe i just misremembering it. Maybe it was this difficult. Okay, nice. We got on the other side of that arena, and that was pretty scary. Ooh, we got another lucky dodge. Oh my gosh, why? Why? Why are you jumping like this? No, we were doing so good. Now we're back to being scared. All right, 13% HP, 12%. He's jumping everywhere. Oh, and now the, oh gosh. I was gonna say now our uh, Reaver is doing explosive damage because it's low percent on HP. Okay, we don't have our, no. Please, don't do this to me. <laughs> 7% HP. Okay, we got a good dodge. We've done so much damage. We are one shot. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize my mic was muted. Oh wow, we finally did it. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was a hard boss fight. My golly. I, I had to do some real soul searching there. Um, we made all of our like warding or slash armored like accessories. We uh, did like our reforges on our and or on our weapons we got a ton of buffs shattering potion titans and it was like it turned into a blizzard right there i'm like oh my goodness Ugh. jeepers i feel so sad but we did it we got the uh ashram aris man i i really forgot how hard those fights were like whoo Okay, we also got a, a Glorious End, which is a mage weapon, so I won't be using that, but it's kind of cool. Neat. Um, let's go ahead and open up our uh, our bag. We got the Ar Aria Cell. Material grants increased mana regen and magic power. Um, we have the Gravistar Sabaton. Tap down and increase your fall damage by five seconds. That's actually really good um, for us. I don't think we're going to be using it just yet. But then we also got something else on the ground. We got the Starlight Fuel Cell. Considerable permanently increases adrenaline mode damage by 15% and damage reduction by 5%. Lovely. The dream. Okay. We are done with Ashram Aris. And that is honestly all the time I have for this episode. Thank you all again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't even know what we're going to be doing in the next episode. Let's see. We've got... Plaguebringer Goliath. Ooh, that is going to be a boss fight and a half. That is going to be super difficult. That fight hurts my soul every time we do it. So, um, well, like I said, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.